All right, welcome everyone. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit different gear review than I, than I uh, usually do. This is gonna be a, a more budget BFS setup. This is the raised tarantula. This is a six foot ultralight casting rod. I'll show the specs here. All right, so, so it's a six foot. It's rated two to, two to eight pound line, down to a 30 second ounce, up to three eighths of an ounce. So it's got a pretty wide, uh, pretty wide range to it. And then uh, this is the, Zef the Cast King Zephyr. Uh, it's uh, it's available in the U.S. BFS reel. It's uh, usually around seventy dollars or so. I know that Rar Fishing, uh, not that long ago, he actually posted like an Amazon affiliate, or like a, one of those Amazon coupons or whatever. Got it down to like fifty-five dollars. It actually, this is a steal of a reel. I've been using it for quite a while. Uh, Shane McNair from McNair Science, he's a long time subscriber. He sent me this reel to test out. He just said, hey, I just want you to review it, send it back. Uh, I had it for about a month. I kind of feel bad, so I do want to send this back to him uh, pretty soon. But uh, what I'm going to do with this video, it's going to be a little different too. Uh, I'm actually going to be giving this away a rod. Uh, Bait Finesse Empire and I will be hosting a giveaway on Instagram and uh, here on YouTube. Uh, so just keep watching the video, and there'll be some more posts about how the um, how the giveaway will actually like work. It's going to be a little bit different than a usual giveaway, just because I'm kind of announcing it in a video as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to get some big pan fish and kind of show you guys the taper, casting, all that kind of stuff with this rod. All right, right now, uh, so most of this video, I'm going to be fishing for pan fish. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to be in about 10 to 15 feet of water. Uh, the water is stand up right now a lot with uh, like pollen and some other debris, uh, plant debris, and it's dead calm right now. Only waves are really from like jet skis and stuff. So right now, they're probably going to be buried in those weeds. So I have a little bit heavier tungsten head on here, and this is by Euro Tackle. I think this is a, a just under an eighth ounce of a head, and then I have a, a, the B vibe on there as well, it's just like a little swim bait that they that they use. Even from when I unboxed it, the length of this rear grip is very long. It's longer than my flipping rod, and that's a Kistler Helium, uh, the MOD, like the mod series. So that's one thing for me is that that handle length is ridiculously long for a six foot ultralight rod, uh, but. Outside of that, like performance, it actually performs very well. It, uh, I had to turn my brakes up just slightly. Uh, it performs really well for just, it's like $109 uh, retail, and there's a seven foot version as well. But it's actually pretty sensitive, and I, I really do like the taper. Uh, the only real negative I could say is that, is that, uh, that handle length. And also the reel seat has some issues as well. It's it's almost like the reel seat's a little too uh, cut out for like where the reel feet go. So depending on your reel, there is a little bit of side to side play. But I know that Amir over at Bait Finesse Empire, he he took some opinions that I had and also that uh, Rar Fishing, uh, he, he's also been using this rod as well. Uh, we're kind of just like testing out, seeing how they are. And uh, my opinions for sure are it's, it's really good. I actually landed my personal best uh, bluegill on this rod. Uh, and it handled it just fine. It was in weeds. Like the taper is soft enough for crappie. I haven't had too many crappie get off. Uh, I'll show you the taper here once I reel this in. But it also has enough backbone that I can actually still horse some fish out. Like right now, it, it sounds kind of weird, but right now I'm using seven pound fluorocarbon. I could be using, I could be using a thin braid, uh, but I, I prefer fluorocarbon, especially in these types of situations. So I'm stuck on a weed here, but I'll show you kind of the taper. So the taper comes out, I'll back up a little bit here. So the taper comes in right here into like a, kind of like your normal tip. And then it keeps bending, keeps bending, let me reel down. Keeps bending and then gets about right here. This is where it gets a pretty good backbone. So it's still soft. So if those fish are like, if they're stuck in weeds, which I do, I fish, a lot of weeds, not quite punching or flipping, but pretty close to it in the panfish world. I can still keep good pressure on them. So when they, when those fish finally do pop up, I'm not applying too much pressure and ripping those hooks out of their mouth, but I still got the backbone to control the fish once they do get out. But I'm using seven pound fluorocarbon, which would be pretty hard to use on a spinning setup. It'd be pretty hard to use on a spinning setup, but on a BFS setup, it's actually not bad at all to use uh, seven pound fluorocarbon with these jig heads. But basically what I do, I just make somewhat short casts and I just kind of work those weeds a more vertical than horizontal. And like casting that, 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 the butt of that rod gets like hits my bicep and I have 
pretty long forearms too. That's just, if they just took, move this reel seat, fix it up a little bit, but move the reel seat down, this rod's actually, even right now how it is, it's a, actually a really good value. Let's straight up come up and say that if you don't want to watch the entire video. But for me, I, I really do like the taper. It, it sounds, ooh, there we go. I'm a better fish. A little bit better fish. Ooh, that's a nice gill. Look. That is nice. It's a nice, nice pumpkin seed. Loins! Oh, that's, that's actually a pretty nice fish. That's thick. This is big. This is... That's a big pumpkin seed. Seed. About time. Might have to measure that bad boy. What the old ruler? Loins right there. I think that's a nine incher. Hey, let's see. Get the tail on there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a nine incher. There it is, that's a, ah, ow. It's a master angler pumpkin seed right there. Nice fish, nice color too. Shape's kind of weird, he doesn't look that, I mean he's long, but he doesn't look all that long at the same time. Let that go. Whew. That was needed because there was a lot of small crappie today. Fishing. but. You don't have to go out and get super high-end rods. I know that there's some U.S. manufacturers and uh, Japanese manufacturers that makes some really high-end ultralight rods or like light-powered rods. But this rod, it, really to me, it shined a new light on the U.S. domestic market. Just like this reel, the Cast King Zephyr, retails about 70 bucks. So you can you can pick it up a little bit more, a little less, depending on sales and stuff like that. But it performs really well. This isn't. This is kind of a heavy jig, so it's not like a can it cast a trout magnet type stuff, but uh, it actually casts pretty good. It just, you have to be really on top of it because I don't think it adjusts very well for wind, like during the, other than like, let's say how Daiwa's air brakes are, like their, like their air reels, like the Daiwa uh, Alpha SV, stuff like that. It casts a wide variety of baits, so it's actually really good. Uh, the one thing that's, it kind of get, you have to get used to is with that long handle, kind of like the fulcrum of your cast, if you want to call it that, is so far away from the handle that kind of feels a little weird at first, but it once you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. And a lot of these, a lot of these comments I'm making are the first run of the rod. And I know that since it's a small company, it's made by a company Rays uh, out of California. They're able to implement those types of changes. So maybe they maybe they see this video or they have feedback from other customers or whatever, and uh, they can actually make those changes. Just to, oh, okay, we'll move the the handle back like four inches or you know however long would be necessary for them to make it and a lot of these comments i'm making about the rod could just be completely negated but for, definitely for the price like just over 100 bucks it's actually got a lot of potential for a rod especially just being the first run yeah like this com this combo if you for let's see 120 for like 160 bucks no probably like 170 dollars uh, and you might be able to find better deals if you have coupon codes and stuff Actually, this is a rock solid BFS setup. Like I've had, I have a bunch of different BFS setups for all different price points and stuff. And this is actually about 80% of what you're going to get from a high end, super tuned BFS setup. Uh, you might get a slightly more sensitive rod. You might get a little bit better casting reel. But if you're just looking to get into BFS and just trying it, I'd say a setup like this is actually pretty good. I haven't. I haven't messed around with these types of reels, like the Doyo reels or um, any of like the AliExpress or any of the, those types of like budget, like quote unquote, like budget BFS reels much. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better fish. But I haven't messed with any of those uh, budget BFS reels much. And actually get, this, this reel gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, this one is actually sent to me by uh, Shane McNair. He owns uh, McNair uh, Signs down in uh, Mississippi. And he's been a long time, oh, nice little, 
a little bluegill. He's been a long time subscriber and he, he, he hit me up on Instagram and asked if I wanted to, nice little color to that. But he hit me up on Instagram and he asked if I wanted to try it out and he wanted me to basically just do a review series because he likes the way I do reviews and it just kind of um, went from there. So I've, I've had this for, I don't know, about a month. I kind of feel bad for how long I've had the reel, but I wanted to really test it out. Uh, I did a lot of pan fish type fishing with it. Uh, I also went trout fishing in streams. See how, ooh, there we are. That was a nice little bite. But uh, I went pan fi uh, I went fishing for trout in streams. Uh, it actually performed really well. Uh, it was, I think if I put like aftermarket bearings in there, it might be a little bit better. But the, the braking system works pretty good. Um, like I said, if you have like a little crosswind or something, you have to just use a little bit more thumb or something, but it's, uh, or tighten up your brakes a little bit. But it's actually a really solid reel. It feels pretty, pretty smooth. Uh, it does have a drag clicker, although it kind of sounds kind of chunky sounding, but it's, it's still fairly smooth drag. And for, for the price, like around $70, you, you really can't, you really can't beat it. If, especially if you're getting, just getting into BFS fishing and you don't want to, uh, invest a bunch of money into it. All right. So there you have it. It's pretty versatile rod. I, I know I didn't, uh, cast out super light lures or super heavy lures with it. Uh, but kind of my overall uh, views, I've been fishing this rod for about a month. Same thing with this cast king and the setup's really capable. Uh, what I really do like about the rod is that it, it can cast those light lures, but also it can handle a little bit heavier lures, like an eighth ounce, uh, tungsten jig head plus your plastic or whatever. Um, and also I say this popper and some crankbaits, it fishes crankbaits well too. Uh, the taper is good, a nice light tip for uh, be able to keep crappie pinned and also be able to feel some of those bites. And then also it has some decent backbone through here uh, that, that can really help when you're fishing in heavy weeds. A lot of times I do for panfish. Uh, so it keeps a, that, that top half keeps them pinned in the weeds. If they get caught in the weeds and keep them pinned almost like you're punching for bass. And then eventually that pressure will uh, release the fish out of there. Uh, a couple things, hopefully they shorten the, the handle on this rod. Uh, if you're watching this video uh, after they fix the handle, just kind of just forget about it. If you're looking online, say Bait Finesse Empire, they carry them, uh, or on the Ra Ray's website. If you see that it still has a long handle, um, you something you gotta think about. It's a little bit different casting, but if they shorten up that handle, I definitely recommend this rod 100%. Right now I'm about 90% uh, for recommending it. But at that just over $100, it's a rock solid rod. Cast King Zephyrs, if Shane McNair didn't send it to me, I would have never even looked at some of those budget BFS reels. I always kind of skipped over them and I'm more of a, I'd rather put like a Roro BFS spool in a reel that I already have versus just buying a whole new, like uh, less expensive BFS reel. But it's actually a solid, pretty solid performer. It's a little finicky when you get with lightweight baits and some wind, but it's really solid performing reel, especially if you're getting into BFS. All right, for the giveaway reels, uh, pretty simple. Uh, just subscribe uh, on YouTube. And follow me and Bait Finesse Empire on uh, Instagram. Uh, and also check out RAR. Uh, they, they're just getting over uh, doing a Jackal Micro Tappy giveaway. Uh, RAR and Bait Finesse Empire. We kind of bounce back and forth between us. So it's definitely worth giving him a look too. And he's also going to be doing a review on this rod. Uh, just get a little bit different input. Uh, I know that he had some real seat issues as well uh, before he can even test the rod. So uh, hopefully this, those, some of those quality control issues uh, get, get pushed up to raise. I know Amir has been in conversation with them. So uh, I, I'm expecting a shorter handle rod and also a little bit uh, more refined reel seat. Once that happens, it's definitely a rock solid rod. Doesn't matter if you have high end BFS rods or you're just getting into it. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, I do have to, I gotta send this reel back to uh, Shane. It's been about a month since I had it and I feel kind of guilty, but I wanted to get a really good rock solid uh, time on the water with it, which I do recommend this reel too if you're getting into BFS.